I am here to tell you all about the terrifying haunted places that you should never visit. But today we are in store for something a little different. Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in to another video. My name is Kennedy and today we are going to be counting down some of the most haunted houses and apartments you can actually spend the night in. So visit at your own risk and don't say I didn't warn you because these are the top 10 real haunted places you can rent on Airbnb. First up in our number 10 spot is the Terralinga Casita. So it's one thing to stay in a haunted room and it's another thing entirely to stay in a house that's in a full on ghost town. But if that sounds like your kind of thing, then this haunted casita might just be the best place for your next paranormal girls trip. Back in the 1800s, Terralinga, Texas was once a thriving mining community known for its production of mercury. However, as the demand for mercury declined in the early 1900s, the town's prosperity dwindled and most of the population moved away. By the mid 20th century, Terralinga was mostly abandoned, leaving behind a ghost town with only a few remaining structures. But it's not just abandoned, it's also believed to be haunted by many of its former residents. So if you are looking for a haunted visit, a limestone cabin near an old jail and a graveyard is a good bet to run into some spooky spirits. Just be careful, as you never know which spirits can wander in and watch you while you sleep. Moving on to number nine, Laura's house. Despite there being no formal mention of an unearthly presence in the Airbnb listing for Laura's cottage, it's widely known that this historic residence in downtown Savannah, Georgia is haunted by an unseen entity. Built in 1799, the cottage is named after its eternal guest. Laura, who truthfully we don't really know much about other than the fact that she haunts the cottage and grew the beautiful flowers that still adorn the cottage grounds. Now aside from it being an Airbnb hotspot for paranormal enthusiasts, the home is frequently featured on walking ghost tours of the city and guests have claimed that Laura, the ghost, was very active during their stay. Thankfully, while she isn't shy, Laura seems to be friendly to most, although a young mother who stayed in the cottage reported that Laura threw a deck of cards off the table in her direction and it totally freaked her out. So I guess just maybe make sure you stay on her good side. Moving on to number eight. Talliston House. Located in Great Dunmow, UK, the haunted bedroom at the Talliston is sure to be an unforgettable stay. As soon as you step into the haunted bedroom at Talliston, you're transported back into the early 1900s and the owner has worked tirelessly to replicate the room of a young Edwardian child, complete with books and toys of the time. But why is that the vibe they're going for? Well, aside from young ghosts being the scariest ones in horror movies, it's rumored that a boy used to live in this room and complained of hearing lots of unsettling sounds every evening. Sadly, he suddenly died and in their grief, his parents sealed up the room out of fear that their son and whatever it was he heard would haunt them. Fast forward a hundred years or so and the room was reopened when the house's current owner moved in and decided to renovate it. But it's said the boy really does haunt the room and guests who have stayed say they have experienced experienced very strange occurrences during their stay. Moving on to number seven, Malaga Inn. Located in Alabama, the Malaga Inn is a charming historic property celebrated for its unique architecture, rich history, and of course, that it's sure to provide a spooky haunted stay. Now obviously, that's not everyone's cup of tea, so there are some rooms that are said to be free of wandering spirits, but if ghostly visitors visitors are something you are interested in, then be sure to book room 007. Rumor has it that this room is home to a mischievous ghost of a woman in a white dress. And many visitors claim that the temperature in the room drops as soon as she enters. Now that part you can fix with an extra sweater, so 
not so bad. But that's not all she is known for. Visitors claim the woman in white will lurk around the room all hours of the day, slamming doors and flickering lights, and some even say they witnessed the chandelier swinging from the ceiling. Let's just hope they are properly hung up there, otherwise that could be a big disaster. Moving on to number 6, Hobo Hill House. Located in Jefferson City, Missouri, this 5,000 square foot house is said to be haunted by a myriad of spirits, and according to everyone that stays, they waste no time making themselves known. From a full bodied apparition of a man wearing a top hat, to flickering lights and flying objects, you are sure to encounter a spirit or two, or six during your stay. And while most seem to be pretty friendly, that doesn't mean that they all are. In fact, apparently the first group to rent after the owners put up their Airbnb listing didn't even last the entire evening. Now, that being said, there are many who adore that kind of thing and have had a blast staying in this haunted house with the spirits, so just be sure you are ready to hang with some spooky entities before you book a night here. Moving on to number five. Parks Bowman Mansion. You'd be hard pressed to find a building in New Orleans that wasn't haunted, and the Parks and Bowman Mansion is no different. Mostly. There are actually three rooms available to book in this 130 year old Garden District mansion, but only one of them is said to be haunted. Per the listing, guests share the haunted bedroom with the ghost of a girl in a yellow dress from the 1890s who was buried on the property after a sudden death. Now, officially, the listing maintains that the ghost girl can be quite shy, and some say they haven't even seen her during their visit. But of course, that's not true across the board. Other reports claim the girl walks with a limp and may be found roaming the grounds while humming creepy lullabies. Either way, just make sure you don't mind being watched while you sleep, as you are almost certainly in store for that during your stay. Coming in at number 4, Civil War House. Not only only is this historical Civil War farmhouse located in the notoriously haunted Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, but during the Civil War, the farmhouse and barn were used as a Civil War field, and the property was actually used as a makeshift hospital for the soldiers in the gruesome battle. So safe to say, it's pretty haunted. And unlike some of the others on this list, the owner is not trying to keep that a secret. The Airbnb host admits to being the home's only living occupant, but that there are many others who live there with her. Now, she doesn't specify exactly how many other spirits roam the property, but it is advertised as being incredibly haunted, which probably means that there are tons of them. Now, the ghosts are purported to be friendly, but some some visitors have had a different experience. Some claim that at night they have heard tortured screams of the soldiers so loud that it woke them up in the middle of the night. So if you do visit, maybe just bring a pair of earplugs. I mean, unless you want to hear the screams. It's your vacation, so I mean, you do what you want. Coming in at number three, Castello del Pazzo. Now, full disclosure, if you couldn't tell from the name, this listing is a full on Italian castle, meaning that it is stunningly gorgeous and beautiful, but it will also cost you more than a few bucks to stay here. That being said, if you have some extra money to spend on a haunted visit, this would definitely be one to add to your list. According to legend, the ghost that haunts this castle was once a young woman named Barbara who fell in love with an army captain named Matteo way back in 1467. But before the lovers could elope, Barbara's father found out about their affair and locked her in the tower of this very castle. Sadly, while she was locked away, her lover Matteo was being exiled to France. But poor Barbara, trapped in the tower with no ties to the outside world, had no clue he had been sent away and died in the tower waiting for him to return and rescue her. Today, visitors of the Castello del Pazzo say that they've seen Barbara looking out from the tower window, still waiting for Matteo to come back. And others say you can hear her screaming cries each night when he does not return. Coming in at number two, the Stroud House. 
Built in 1940, the Stroud House in North Carolina has been in the family for several generations, and according to its listing, it's also been haunted for as long as, well, anyone can remember. According to several friends, family, guests, and the owners themselves, you will not be short on supernatural experiences during your stay. Those that have stayed report events including hearing footsteps in the hallway, lights turning on and off on their own, orbs in the living room, and a music box that appears as though it's magically playing by itself. But the scariest encounter you might run into is a shadowy figure that likes to hang out in the kitchen and dining room. Now, the good news is that so far, none of the activity has been reported as malevolent, so it doesn't seem like you're gonna run into any poltergeists while you're here, but there's always a first time for everything. And last up in our number one spot is Captain Grant's. This historic bed and breakfast dates back to 1754, when Captain Grant built a beautiful home for his family. The house, which is listed in the National Register of Historic Places, withstood the Revolutionary and Civil Wars, and like many buildings from its time, is well known for its overwhelming paranormal activity. Cause you know, lots of people died here. While there are said to be spirits all throughout the grounds, if you're looking for a ghostly encounter for your stay, the Adelaide Room is the one you want to pick. While staying in this room, one guest reported having her face caressed by invisible hands, while another visitor claimed that a woman dressed in colonial era garb holding hands with young people could be seen wandering around the room. And for extra measure, just in case that doesn't sound spooky enough, there is a a nearby cemetery and an underground crypt you can take an evening stroll over to for even more paranormal activity. But be warned, you never know what other spirits could be lurking in the shadows there. Well, that's all I got for you today, friends. Have you guys ever stayed in a haunted Airbnb before? If you have, let me know what happened in the comments, and be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel while you are down there. I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you next time.